Okay, so here's a bunch of steps that I do to go from uh, kind of sort of being able to finish the problem, like changing less than to less than or equal to, or changing one to zero or the other way around. Um, going from there to being able to complete the problem. As soon as I see the problem, I know exactly what I need to type out, and really the only limiting factor is how fast can I type. These are the steps to go from that, uh, between those two spots. Uh, and so the first thing I do is, uh, let's say that I've just completed a problem and it's in file.js, then I'll make a copy of that called uh, file.original.js. So I have an example here of the uh, remove duplicates.js. So I'm going to copy that to uh, remove duplicates.js is now going to be remove duplicates.original.js. Um, so that way I can go into remove duplicates.js and start making changes. And if I ever get stuck, I can always uh, go to uh, the original and this one will be unchanged. So if I go back to remove duplicates.js, um, the after I've made the copy of the file, the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the innermost line of code and comment it. And the goal of the comment is to make it so that I can recreate the code based on just the comment. So that looks like this. Here, this is the innermost line of code. It's inside of the if, which is inside of the for, which is inside of this for, which is inside of the function. Um, and I'm gonna comment it, set unique to false. And then I'm going to actually delete the line of code and see if I can recreate it based on this comment. Unique is set to false. Okay, cool. And if I ever uh, am unable to do that, so like let's say here, uh, stop the for loop. So that's what break does. It'll stop this for loop. Um, let's say that I have this comment and I'm like, oh no. I don't know what to put here. Uh, let's let's try. Uh, man, I can't. I don't remember. Then I can go look at. Actually, let me open it in a split. Um, I can look at the original, and I can see here in the original that at that part of the code I have the word break. So that's that must be what I meant by this comment. That's why I made the, the copy. That's why I make copies of the original uh, when it works. Um, so now I can refer to the original. I, I've, I've done the referring and I've figured out what this line of code was supposed to be. Maybe I would change this comment t uh, based on that because like if I had to go to the original, then that means this comment didn't actually help me get all the way back to the code um, from just the comment. I had to refer to the original. Anyway, uh, once you've done that, um, then after you've done, like say here, I've done all of these lines, they're all at the same level of indentation. Then I can work my way out. And then once I've done all of these lines, then uh, I can work my way out again. And then uh, if I keep doing that, eventually I'll do the whole file, and by the time I'm done, then I will understand this problem really, really well, um, and the next time a similar problem comes up, I will spend less time guessing and checking and more time basically just writing out this solution and modifying it ever so slightly uh, to match the next problem. Um, and after you do enough of these, then you too can solve problems just by uh, typing it out. As soon as you see the, the problem, you know exactly what to type out, and the limiting factor is how fast can you type.